So the thing is, is these had to survive two marriages? Yes. Okay. And how many years? Your mom passed away in? 1998. Okay, so let's back up. 98, 48. 50 years. Obviously, they meant something to her. Clearly, they did. I, I mean, mean they're, they look... They're in perfect condition. Yeah. It's amazing how good a condition. And he would even sign on the back right there. You see that? And then he would sign a lot of them inside the flat. This is the one where he asked her to marry him. Mm-hmm. And it's it's amazing. Did you sort these out in a certain way? Did you know by the way he named it? Okay. No. Uh, no, they're, no, they're not sort, sort See, I love you. And there's actually a photograph in there. I'm not going to show you the photograph, but there's the edge of it, and you can see that it has Winfield right there in blue pen. So let me ask you this. Yes. <clears throat> um, and I know that this is somewhat of a family heirloom, but it also has some historical significance as, as one of the world's, world's most renowned guitar players. Um, would you part with this collection? Uh, possibly. Okay. Possibly. Um, I, my goal is to uh, share these letters with people that are um, uh, had it, that Scotty was a big influence on. You know, if they're interested in seeing them, right? Um, that's my main purpose for, for them right now. But yeah, I mean, it's possible. Okay. You know? But clearly, and 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 friends, don't don't think that we that was a setup. Um, and what I mean by that is is that letter that he read was not something that we we looked through them and went, let's find the one that has this and that. That was just one letter you at random picked. He read it, and it gave us a lot of clues. Scotty was on watch. Scotty was uh, in the engine room. He worked in the library. He, was, he, he uh, picked on her because he liked her. There was a lot of interesting clues in that, that one letter, and that was one. There's ten more. Yes. Um, the reason, of course, we don't want to read them on, all on this video is because we don't want to disclose what all there is in there. If there happened to be somebody that wanted these letters, uh, Keith Richards, um, then um, he could read them and learn the things, and it, it wouldn't be something that's public. Because you now, look, if you get it on the Internet, you can't get it off. There ain't no Ajax for the Internet. And so that's, that's the reality. So something else happened. Tell us about this day was a special day, but this wasn't immediate. This is something that took a, a period of time. Tell us about that. Sure. Well, I had... Uh, for several years, try to get in contact with Scotty through um, other means, and he wasn't an easy person to get a hold of. He was not, even if you had his phone number, by the way. Right, and um, we, you know, we tried to, we had his number, tried to call, you know, couldn't get through, wouldn't answer. Uh, other people that uh, knew him, um, we tried that avenue. We just, like you said, he was hard to get in touch with. But you touched base with somebody. I, I did. That's famous. I did. And you have a voicemail. Now, you have a bunch of voicemails, but you have one that you're going to play for us. Absolutely. Let's, yeah. let's hear this voicemail. Let's see okay. who this is. Okay. So you reached out to people that would have been instrumental in the in the Elvis world. I did. That should be able to get you in touch with Scotty. Yes. Hi, John. This is Sonny West. Uh, my son, Brian West, gave me your name and number to get in touch with you regarding some letters that you have for, uh, for Scotty. And uh, we're busy trying to get a message to him uh, now to uh, explain to him about him. And uh, so Brian asked me to give you a call, and that's what I'm doing. So if you get a chance to call and let me know that you, uh, that you got this message. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, John. Bye-bye. All right. So when did that phone call take place? That was uh, March the 6th. When did uh, of, Sonny pass away? He died in May. So it's uh, March, April, May. Yes. Just two months before he passed, you got a phone call from Sonny West. I did. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. So you eventually made a decision, and I think it may have been you, 
that caused this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so y'all were traveling and what happened? Well, yes, uh, we were uh, coming back from Chattanooga and uh, we were discussing Scotty and uh, I was kind of down about how I hadn't been able to reach him and Leanne said, you know, you have his address, you have his phone number, I think you ought to just go over there and knock on his door because, you know, he's 84, 85 years old, I think you just need to go, go for it. So, um, and we did. So without her encouraging me that day, uh, it would have never happened. That's what wives do. By the way. <laughs> That's what wives Even do. Even if they don't care about what you're doing, they still want you to do what you do. Exactly. That's right. That's right. So. Um, well, I knew it meant a lot to him, and I thought if you don't do it now, it may not happen, and you will regret it for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's exactly what would have happened. Yeah, exactly. On that day, this day. Yes. How much longer did Scott this live? Three months. Okay. Three months. So I'm not going to allow you to come to my house. I'm not going to leave you any messages because people are just falling out around you. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm messing with yeah, you. I know. I know. Uh, so tell us about that day. What happened? Yes. Yeah, so I'm sure you were nervous when you pulled oh, out. Oh, yeah, I was nervous. And yeah. Leanne can tell you I was nervous. Mm -hmm. uh, we prayed about it. Um, that, you know, Which they is would, they would piece of the puzzle. Yes, I prayed, I prayed about it before we went and um, that they would not kick us off the property and slam the door <laughs> in our face. So we drove up and knocked on the door. And I knew I had about a 10, 15 second window to... Uh, win them over whoever answered the door. So I had that picture of Scotty in my hand that's in the letters in his Navy uniform when he's about 17 or 18 years old and the letters in the other hand. <clears throat> and uh, the lady came to the door and I told her who I was and showed her the picture, explained to her what I had. She took the picture and she told me to hold on a second. Um, and maybe 15 seconds later, she came back and said, uh, I think Scotty would like to see those. So she invited us in the house. And we couldn't believe that we were being invited into Scotty Moore's house. I mean, I was just, I couldn't believe it. So we walked in and Scotty was kind of peeking around the doorway, you know. And uh, we could see him. So we walked in, introduced myself to him, and told him what I had, you know, these letters that he wrote my mother 60 years ago, or whatever it was, and the first thing he asked me was, uh, are they clean? <laughs> 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 and uh, they, we assured him, yeah, they were, they were clean letters. They were, they well, nothing, they, I mean, they were mushy. They were mushy, they were but they were clean. There wasn't anything dirty about them. So um, at that point, uh, he said, well, let's, let's go to the kitchen. Which is his living room. Yes. That's how Scotty rolled. He didn't actually have a living room. It was a recording studio. His kitchen was his living room. So we walked down the hallway, and, of course, we stopped and looked at all his uh, award wall and all that, and then we made our way to the kitchen table, and we were shocked at how, how hospitable. I mean, they mm -hmm. offered us something to eat, something to drink. Um, and we were just, you know, nervous, uh, and we didn't want to, we did not, we, we wanted to be so respectful and let him know that, you know, we weren't here uh, any reason other than these letters. You know, we weren't going to try to... Because he said something to you. Uh, yes. And when we sat down at the table, the first thing he said to us was, I don't want to talk about Elvis. And we said, we are not here to talk about Elvis at all. Um, so uh, we uh, showed him the letters and we took pictures with him, um, him looking at the letters. And he was, when he saw his uh, old uh, military uh, number that he was assigned to, he really lit up. He did. Uh, he, I, I forget, you know, he said, he, I forgot my, my number. You know, so, um, but when we started discussing my mother, he, he said he didn't remember her. And um, 
you know, we were told that his memory was not was not very good. Yeah. So well, he was getting on up in age. He was getting on up in age. He was over eighty. I, 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 yeah, he, eighty four. I think it was something like that. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, so we then we just started discussing his hometown of Gadsden, and he really got into talking about Gadsden, and he had. Uh, Margie Kay was her name uh, that let us in. Uh, he instructed her to start writing, get a pen and paper and start writing uh, things down from Gadsden, you know, landmarks. And we discussed landmarks in Gadsden and stuff like that. So she, she started making notes. And, um, um, you know, it was... Uh, it was just a wonderful day. It was a day I'll never forget. Um, we we tried to get up and leave. Oh, several times. Several times. We didn't want to stay our welcome. Yeah, we did, we, we did not want to, yeah, overstay. Once you were in, though, he wanted you to stay. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. And we, we just felt like, you know, you know, we didn't want to overstay our welcome. And a couple times I, we tried to get up. He said, no, 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 no. He did not want us to leave. He wanted to continue to talk. So... Because most people that would just come there and knock on the door were going to be about Elvis, not about Scotty. Mm -hmm. Which he lived, unfortunately, he lived his life in that shadow. Now, I say unfortunately, he made a, a big career of that. Yes. But nevertheless, he was always in Elvis's shadow, you know, no matter what. And Elvis was passed, and he's still in Elvis's shadow. Right. And so this was an opportunity for him not to be in Elvis's shadow. This was all Scotty, all Scotty. Which I get, you know, it's, yes. it's amazing. Yes. So once he read the letters, what did he say about them? He never opened them. Oh, he didn't? He never took a letter out. Hmm. I don't know why he he, he wouldn't. I didn't um, press the issue. Mm -hmm. um, but all he would... He may not have been able to see them. Well, he, right. Thing. But all he would do, he would take them and he would, he would read the top. And, and he um, remembered, he said, I forgot my service number. I forgot my service number. But he would never, he would never open one up. And I, and he and was, he would like to, did he shuffle them? He did. Because that's his thing. He sh he was the kind of nervous energy. He yes. would shuffle things a yes. lot like that. Yes. 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 I've he, seen him do that. He shuffled them around and he looked at, he looked at them and uh, he saw the, the picture in his, his uh, military and I asked him about that. I asked him, I said, well, why did you sign? Yeah, I said, you signed everything Winfield instead of Scotty. He said, well, that's because they uh, called me Winfield in the service. He said, they called everybody by the first name. He said, so that's why I signed everything Winfield. Mm. Um, so, um, but yeah, um, like I said, it was a day I'll never forget, you know. Either. It was a wonderful time. He was extremely nice. Um, but I asked him if he still played guitar, and he said he couldn't play anymore. You know, of course, we're talking three months before his death. Mm -hmm. He said he never, he didn't, he couldn't play anymore because of arthritis. I think is what he said. Um, but, um, but you could tell it meant a lot to him. He really, he lit up, didn't he? I mean, he lit up and he's having a really good day you know even margie said later on that he really enjoyed it and he had a better afternoon that day yes well, uh, it took him back to his to his childhood, childhood yeah. his, being a teenager and all that kind of stuff yes so, you know it's amazing how something like that can transport you back but i bet he hadn't thought about a lot of that stuff in a long oh, I'm sure time he hadn't i mean he even had you draw a a map or something of the streets uh, and yes. how to get to certain houses. Uh, yeah, so to the maybe First Baptist Church. Try and, to remember it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we drew a diagram of uh, some roads there in Gadsden to where the First Baptist Church, I was trying to describe where uh, First Baptist Church was there in Gadsden. And he wanted me to draw the street and, and diagram it for him. And, and, my, and I did that. And he was mm -hmm. trying, to rem yeah, trying to remember. So, um, but yeah, uh, Margie. Message, messaged us after the visit and I did not we failed to bring a picture of my mother which I to show Scotty which I didn't even think about doing uh, that might have if he was seen a picture of her that might have jogged his, yeah. his memory but um, 
Margie emailed us and um, basically said, you know, Scotty normally doesn't let people off the street in the house, and and um, it really made his day. And um, it, could we send a picture of my mother for her to show him, and he might remember? Because some days his memory is better than others. Mm -hmm. So we we did that, mm -hmm. and yeah, she sent a very nice email um, thanking us, of, you know, being so respectful to him. Um, and we, we had that uh, email. Um, so yeah, that, re that meant a lot to us mm -hmm. to get that correspondence back. Well, that is amazing. Y'all got to, uh, to meet a legend. You know, I can't think of one person that got to meet a legend that was in love with their mother. I know it's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty, cool. pretty cool. That's amazing. Yes. This is an incredible story, John. It, and it, it I, is. I thank you so much for sharing this. Oh, you're very welcome. I appreciate you uh, taking the, the time and interest to to visit us. But you know, let us tell you about it. That's awesome, friends. Uh, if you are interested in these letters, Keith Richards, um, <laughs> you know how to contact me. Look up my email, and I'll superimpose it here right now. There it is. You see it, and uh, they would might be interested in parting with this um, historical stuff. And if there's a museum, or whoever, they just want to go it, it to be in the hands of somebody that appreciates what it is. Uh, Scotty Moore was um, uh, a, a, a very important part of, of the fabric of our nation, along with Elvis and Bill Black, you know, that original band, the Blue Moon Boys. And um, I think it's, uh, this is an, an incredible find. Unbelievable stuff. Thank y'all so much. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much.